Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another exciting time lapse with me, Fix It. Guys, I got a great one here for you today. I just finished uh, building it, so I hope you're really gonna enjoy it. We're doing a jungle today. It started with, I was just gonna do a little jungle village, and then I noticed there was a jungle temple there, and well, I got a little bit carried away. So let me show you where the teleport is. It is, it's the last one, I just built a new one. Right over here, and it says jungle village. Well, kind of an epic build. I hope you enjoy the time lapse. I'll see you on the other side, and we'll walk around a little bit.
right, I hope you all enjoyed that time lapse. It was really fun to put together, and I think it's now time to go take a look. This is a bit of a hike. It's about 1,200 blocks. It's the furthest one we have in this uh, kingdom away from uh, from the beginning. But here we have, uh, so it starts at the hub. By the way, I am just learning about all the conquest biome specific things. These are jungle, um, these are beach jungle wood and when there's beets there's sand on them and then as you get up into the actual jungle look it turns to like sort of moss on them isn't that awesome it's amazing uh so what i did is i i put the teleport right here on the beach so as a, right next to the the uh the jungle tropical icebergs that we have out here yay minecraft generation so you walk along here and you go up here check out the little i, I tried to keep so Here's the thing. Jungles are really dense. I tried to keep as much of the natural covering as I could in this area where I just I only cut apart what I needed for the path. And you just walk through here and you see all this dense stuff. This is the little template for houses. Now, I only end up building two houses. Uh, they're all going to be basically the same. So I decided to not do a lot because I got kind of carried away with the, the jungle temple at the end. But this is Sawyer from Lost. I thought that would be nice. This is Sawyer's house. And um just check, it's really simple. It's just one room, round, round little house, sandstone on the top. I thought that would be kind of appropriate. And then you walk over here, and if you go this way, you see a uh, a church. There's a, a a sandstone and jungle wood church that I thought it worked really, really well. The warped warped doors look pretty cool. I thought it kind of looked like wheat uh, reeds, like they put it together with whatever's around here. Check this out. This is a jungle button. Isn't that awesome? A jungle button. That's so cool. And you can press it. And the uh, the gem goes down. Man, I love this texture pack. I'm just getting so into it. Anyway, so you walk in through here to the church. Just uh, Instead of um, pews, like like seats, I thought slabs would make more sense. So you walk in here and you can hear the hear the sermon. Also open air. I just, I just thought it was cool. I thought it was a, a very different look for a church, having it open air. And uh, let's take a look at the build. I think the build is really cool. Birch uh, roofs, which I think worked really well with some jungle trim and then up here i did sandstone trim with jungle tops just to mix up so it's not all the same and yeah it worked out it worked out really well i think the design of it is cool i really 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 like the open uh the open windows on the bottom floor i just think that turned out really cool i was going to do a bell tower up at the top but i decided instead to go glowstone so it really just looks like a beacon uh oh what do we have over there oh okay well you already saw me build it so i guess it's not that big of a size but it's really cool wait till we walk up to it then if you turn this way in the path, you just sort of walk through this super dense, awesome little path. I've been here for so long, all these vines have grown. And uh, you get to another little hut. Again, this is Kate from Lost. You know, again, this is her little house. She's uh, cooking. She cooks a lot. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, there's some food there. And then you go this way, and this little path takes you, if you follow it, uh, up here to this. And this is where it starts. I, I thought the last thing I did is I added these towers on the side. I just think that they helped. I just think they helped to really make it look... Um, I don't know, because I didn't want to do statues or anything, so I just did the towers here, and, and you know, there's nothing inside of them. They're just, they're just little narrow towers, but I just thought that they, they helped, especially from a distance. And if you walk up here, side note that I just started doing on stairs from now on, I don't think I'll ever do a whole big row of stairs again, because having these little platforms is great. That's like how stairs really are, right? Like, you walk up and there's a little platform, you walk up, there's a platform. Generally, you don't have a, uh, generally in life, you don't have about a billion stairs in a row. I don't know if that's so if people fall, they get caught or, or what is, but, but yeah. So then you have, now here's what I wanted to do. I wanted to keep the main jungle temple basically intact. So in fact, honestly, I've not even been in here. This is the first time I've stepped inside this thing. Uh, so I didn't really change it. The only thing that I changed in the jungle temple, the actual temple part, is I just added a little bit of ornamentation and added these. Uh, I think these might be a little big, but I really wanted the four flames with the with the campfire on the inside. So uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe they're a little too big, but I think we can all live with it. So it's it's all right. And then if you just take a look at the scope of the jungle temple, what I want to do is keep the main jungle temple basically the same and then just add to it and add to it. I did. Yeah, I think this is, I think it's really cool. I just think it's a cool looking quick little build, you know, quick little took me a few hours, but um, just a cool, a cool build. I went ahead and put wood up here on the top because I just thought like, I, I don't know. I just thought I wanted to not look all ruined. I wanted to look like maybe people are still here. So that's why I went with the uh, the wood. If I were making it old, really old, I wouldn't have used wood up at the top. Maybe on the floor, but not as a roof because I think it would have caved in. But um, 
Yeah, I think it's cool. I real I use so much of this. This is such a cool block. The green concrete. I just love how it all goes together. How like, look, there's not repeating. It just it all it all blends. Isn't that amazing? I, it's such a beautiful, like perfectly done texture. I just really love it. So uh, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it for the build. I hope hope you really enjoyed it. I really, really enjoyed this. I was a little skeptical, to be totally honest, uh, getting into doing a jungle build. It, I started, I was like, oh, what are you doing, Fix? And I turned out really loving it. I really had a great time, even though uh, I, I, I'm done breaking leaves for a little while in life. I've certainly done a lot of that in this build. But I'll see you all next time lapse. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to grab the download, downloads are on my Discord now. You can just join and grab it there. I'll see you all next episode. Bye, everybody.